We are really uh, strongly working to make sure that as we talk about a minimum wage in the state of New Jersey increase, that we don't leave behind a vulnerable population. I want to share some facts with you about this workforce or this class of workforce. 63.1%, almost two thirds of all tip workers are women. 45% of tip workers are non-white. We're talking about black, Asian, Latin American women. 9% are white workers in poverty. Two thirds of the workforce has only a high school education or less. This is an equality issue. Now, let's talk about what the population looks like. But here's some statistics about how they're living. 31% of tip workers in New Jersey, with 42% of them being single parents. Despite that fact, these workers are people with jobs, people that are working hard. 11.5% of tip workers in New Jersey fall under the poverty line. Almost the same percentage, 11.4% are on food stamps. Almost 13% of them are on Medicaid. Over 15% of our workers are of color and they live in poverty. This is an economic issue and we believe that we can do something about it. We believe that through this bill, we can actually work to make sure that they earn a fair wage.